Hi everybody, Jackie here. Welcome back to my channel. I'd like to say thank you to all my returning friends and welcome to any new friends. Please make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit that bell to be notified when I upload future videos. And also, uh, any likes, shares, and comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks. Okay, as I have said in a few videos recently, I'm going to do two craft fairs this season. One November 10th and one December 2nd. So, and this is the first time I've ever tried to do something like this. And I just thought I'd share just a few of the things that I've been doing to include in my craft fair. And again, all these are ideas that I'm either getting off Pinterest or I'm finding on YouTube. So I don't do tutorials on them because there are people who do the tutorials. That's how I learn. But if you'd be interested in watching how I create something, I'd certainly, you know, be happy to make those videos. But what I do is nothing new. I'm not that creative. I just copy other people. One of the things that I'm making is you always try to have at your booth something as a giveaway at people walking by. So this container is completely filled with suckers that have like little toppers on them. And I'm going to show you just a few of them. It's just pieces of paper, some twine, and a sticker or two with a lollipop to inside. I've got Oh, God, my lighting's going to be terrible again. There's a Santa Claus one on Santa Claus paper. This one is on candy cane paper, and it looks like the little cardinal. Oh, it's peeking out. And these are so cheap to make because it scraps the paper, and you buy a, I get the lollipops, suckers, whatever you want to call them, at the Dollar Tree for a dollar, and there's 25 in a pack. So I, I'm just going to give these away to anybody that wants one or you know make sure to give them to the kids so I'll be having a supply of these on sale that's that one this one and I try to use all Christmas paper this one is just a plaid and it says I got a cut out on it that says merry and bright this one it says tis the season to be jolly and it just has a little holly sticker on it. I don't know how to do this. I'm still struggling with my lighting, guys. It's getting better sometimes, but not always. This one is on candy cane paper, and it's a little girl. It looks vintage, a little girl putting Christmas trees, uh, ornaments on a Christmas tree. And these are so simple to make. You cut a piece of paper, you cut another piece of white and I got tired of using the square so I have a scallop uh, punch and I was using a scallop punch too like this one is a white scallop punch I have this one this is in the you know this is real popular last year the red car or truck with the Christmas tree on it and then on the front I have the matching sticker and then this one is Again, with the scallop cut uh, cut punch, and it says Merry and Bright, and it just looks like a snowflake pattern. So I've been working on these. I've gotten uh, about 50 of them made, and I probably need about three times that much since I'm doing two craft fairs, but I wanted to show you that. Now this I am proud of, that I, I, that I did this. It's, I'm going to show you. I have said that I was looking for the... Uh, pillow box punch board and I went to three Hobby Lobbies and they said they had it and when I get there they don't have it so I just kept watching you know different videos and playing around with it and everything and I came up where I can do my own so oh my little bow fell off I'm gonna have to put that back on These are little pillow box uh, containers, and I just, uh, they've got the handle on them, and I've got the little cutout heart to hold them with, and what these have inside of them. Now, I'm going to change it. I'm going to add to it, but I'm not going to do it right now. I'm going to add, like, little chocolates or peppermints or something, but what they have 
is a lip balm. Just a little lip balm. This one happens to be cherry. So it comes in here. And like I said, it'll either have uh, peppermints or like chocolate Hershey Kisses or something in that. And you just... Let me close it again. God. And then it's ready. You know, you throw it in a, a gift bag. You can... Uh, Send it to school with your kids for the teacher's presents. You got a co-worker, a bunch of co-workers, and you want to give them a little something but not much. There you go. And I've watched videos about pricing for craft fairs, but I also know what the economy is like in my area. So I plan on selling these for a dollar each. A dollar each. All I'm out is the cost of... Right now, all I'm out is the cost of the lip gloss or the lip balms, and they come either two in a pack or three in a pack at the Dollar Tree. And uh, the paper and everything else is stuff that I already had from last year, and I've just utilized it. So I'm just going to give you a, a quick view of a few of them, and they're all the same thing. We have that one. I'm going to show you, try to show you a few different styles of paper. This one I kind of like. It's the Santa Claus face. And I'm, that's all I'm going to really show you because they're all pretty much the same thing made out of the same kind of, you know, paper and everything. But I think for a dollar a piece, I should have no problem selling these. Like I said, I think it'd be great, you know, you send to school with your kids in a t-shirt appreciation gift at work a bunch of co-workers and you want to give them a little something so i know this isn't a long video i just wanted to show you a few of the things that i've been working on and as it gets closer to actual time for my first craft fair i'm going to do a a display or i'm going to show you everything that i've created this in the last couple months to go for a Christmas uh, craft fair and tell me what you think and like I said if you guys would be interested in any tutorial videos let me know but again I'm I'm not that creative I just copy other people's ideas and I watch so many different people I can't name them all by name but they are all on YouTube and even on Pinterest you find an idea go look it up on YouTube and you can find a tutorial on how to do it so, okay, everybody, that's it for me today. I'd like to tell you what I always say. When the world's going to hell in a handbasket and you can't control it, don't worry about it. Let everybody do what they're going to do and you take care of you and your own. Because when it's all said and done, yep, you know, it's not my circus and they're not my monkeys. Y'all have a really good day now. Bye.